Hey, I am so excited today to teach you how to crochet a Christmas countdown chain that you can reuse every year. Let's get started. For this crochet project, you will need yarn in the color that you want for your chains. And actually, this project would be a really good project for scrap yarn that you have left over from other projects. And it could be really fun to have it in multiple colors. Um, you will also need scissors and a needle to tuck your strings. You will need um, buttons in whatever color you want to use them in, some needle and thread to sew your buttons on, and a crochet hook. I am going to use a size 4 crochet hook. I recommend if you're just using everyday yarn, uh, a 4 to a 5 size crochet hook. To begin, chain 6. And then for your first row, we're going to double crochet into the third chain from the hook. And then we're going to double crochet into the last three chains. So that this first row has four double crochets. Like that. Then we're going to chain two, turn our work, and do row two, and we will do a double crochet into each stitch. So we will end this row with four double crochets. And we are going to repeat this, chain two, and then four double crochets for rows one through 17. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete those rows and I'll meet you at the end of row 17. Okay, I just finished row 17 and now I'm ready for row 18. And in this row, we are going to make the buttonhole so that way we have a spot to slip our button through and to do that we are going to chain one and turn the, the, the work and we are going to do a single crochet into that first stitch then we're going to chain two we're going to skip two stitches and make a single crochet in the last stitch and then there we get our buttonhole and now we are ready for our 19th row, our last row. We're going to chain two, turn our work, make a double crochet into that first stitch, and then double crochet, two double crochets into the chain space. So there's one double crochet, and then, oops, my string got messed up. And then here's our second double crochet in the chain space. And then I will make a double crochet into the last stitch. And then there's our chain. So now that I am finished, I'm going to cut my string and tuck my tails into the um, the chain, I guess, <laughs> into the chain. And now the last thing to do is to add a button on and I just I, I don't honestly remember buying these but I've had these for a while um, I've seen them at 
uh, Hobby Lobby and they're just kind of nice to have around so if you see one I suggest picking one of those up. I have found that with this chain space that a bigger button uh, helps. I put some smaller buttons on these I'm gonna have to go back and change them because they're just the loop is too loose and they, they come undone quite easily so your bigger buttons are probably gonna fit a little better but now I'm just going to sew my button on and then my chain is ready to be added to the countdown chain. And there you have it. It's ready to be added on to the countdown chain. And there you go. I thought this was such a cute idea because it's something you can use every year. I know kids love having a visual of how many days till Christmas, so there you go. So I hope you like this video and I hope you found it helpful. And if you make your own, please post it and tag me so I can see your projects. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. like to see more please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss a video